doing the first two upgrades to the KTM 300. I'm not even going to mess with that Makuni carburetor. I'm not going to waste $80 on the JD jetting kit and maybe possibly not be happy with it. So this is a key in from JD Jet, V4's reeds and the uh, new Keenan does come with the JD jetting kit from JD so going to uh, go and put it into the bike hopefully uh, everything should be pretty straightforward with the uh, jetting just follow the instructions see what they recommend It does come with a nice big aftermarket uh, air screw adjustment. The uh, bike's part right now. Tomorrow I'm going to go ride at Ken's. So that'd be the perfect time to uh, go through and get some tuning done on the bike before the race. I need some seat time too. This uh, bad ankle is not helping me out. All right, so I finally got the stock reads out. This has been something very curious in my mind is how are they sealing compared to these are the V-Force reads right there and these are the stock ones. I've seen some pictures where they are up and these things are very nice and flat. Unfortunately, there's two different problems. One problem is that they're not, uh, they cannot see correctly from a uh, mold flaw in the casting but then the other thing is the reeds can just straight up break so even if I did have well I do have good sealed reeds they can still break off at some point in time 17 hours 50 hours and I don't want to be stuck as you guys can tell I'm doing anything I can right now to have the bike run good and be reliable so that's the reason for the carb upgrade and then for the V-Force, particularly didn't want to spend money on the V-Force and the carb, but I want a reliable bike, I want a bike that's going to run good. Nice. Right. 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 Right.